Hello YouTube, what you see here is a piece of pear on the lathe. If you make uh, lots of bowls you inevitably end up with uh, off cuts and this is one of them. Which I thought I could might uh, turn into uh, uh, a small uh, sushi platter or uh, something like that. It's uh, quite an irregular shape. And uh, it may very well be that this ends up in the fails uh, section of 2021. But you never know until you try. So here we go. So this is what I would need for uh, for a recess. Maybe it's better to do a tenon here. Probably as little tool marks as I'm going to have. So yeah, it's too wet to sand. I can already tell you that. So uh, just for the heck of it, I'll uh, reverse it and uh, see what nice things we can do to the other side. I think this is pushing the limits of what my SE3 chuck can hold, but uh, we'll see how it goes.
bit of the chainsaw marks here. The top side has been sanded, all the tool marks are gone, my sandpaper uh, clogs up uh, tremendously, but uh, now I almost hate it that I didn't finish the bottom before I started on this side, because it's not so bad as I thought it would be. Let's see if I can get it uh, finished completely. So here's my meanwhile familiar jam chuck. I've put a piece of sandpaper in the bottom of the workpiece. Let's see how that goes. That's good enough for now. Before I take off the tenon, let me sand uh, the rest of the bottom. As much as I would like to continue here, I think it's uh, better to uh, to do it the old-fashioned way with a chisel.
at least it stands stable. So I'll take it inside and we'll wait a few days uh, to see if it behaves. I expect that it will uh, warp somewhat, but it will be interesting to know how this wood uh, uh, acts. But I'll uh, keep you guys posted. So here I'm back with my little uh, pear uh, plate. I've had it in the house for uh, about two weeks now and as to be expected it has warped. So this side which was a relatively thin section has bent down considerably. Also the um, the hole has gone slightly oval, it's uh, about uh, well s 6 to 7 millimeters uh, narrower here than it is here. Um, yeah. It has moved uh, the bark here, has gone up somewhat. This uh, gap has opened up. But all in all, for untreated wood, it uh, it behaved uh, extremely well. And uh, apart from that, I've also been using it as uh, as my personal uh, platter for, uh, for example, pizza or uh, whatever else. These small things that you eat uh, now and then in between, and also for uh, a small breakfast. And I've gotten quite a liking to this uh, to this thing, so I've decided to uh, extend its life by uh, sanding it, giving it uh, a couple of coats of uh, shellac, and uh, continue using it. And guess what? My foam coated uh, sanding pad from China have arrived. So this is my first opportunity to use them. After I swap battery. So that's the whole thing uh, properly sanded up to I think 320. Uh, the grid number on the sanding pad was not clearly uh, readable, but it feels smooth enough. I was almost tempted to use uh, Danish oil on this one, but as we all know that's not uh, food safe. So well, uh, I guess I'll better stick with uh, straight shellac. No sanding sealer, just shellac. does it. We'll uh, let this dry. I might uh, apply a third coat to the top and then it's good. 